Are you struggling to get wins? Well, Civil.gg has you covered with year-round pro guides from one of the best Madden players in the world. Click the link in the description and use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off and start winning more games today. What's going on guys? Today we are talking about one of the best ball carrier moves in Madden 23 that you have to add to your game. And not only is this move super effective and useful, it is also very easy to learn and master as well. So today I want to make this short video and show you guys what this move is because to the naked eye it just looks like a normal skip juke and it does. Like here's a, here's a skip juke. Dalvin Cook does have jukebox so it is going to be a little bit more effective on him, but running this running this move with Jukebox is 100% the move because you get better animations and you cover more ground as well. So, Dalvin Cook does have Jukebox. Here is the move normally. I'm going to refrain from calling these the back buttons today, but usually for a skip juke, all you're going to want to do is just be running, holding nothing, and just flick the stick. That's how you get a skip juke. It's that easy. You're not holding the, the right trigger or R2 turbo which is what a lot of people do when they're running the football. Their first instinct, they, they, they get the handoff and they hold that turbo. That is probably one of the worst habits you could do in a Madden game. Do not hold that turbo button until you absolutely have to. So I guess what I'm calling this move is the super skip juke. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good name. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything better. I just thought of it on the spot to be honest. But all you're going to want to do is use the hard cut mechanic. Unfortunately, this move only does work on next gen. I'm sorry to all you current gen guys out there, or I guess that's now past gen. I don't really know what people are calling it now. But all you're going to want to do is hard cut the way you want to juke. If you don't know how to hard cut, it is LT or L2, which is right here. This one, the back one right there, LT or L2. And you're going to want to hard cut the way you're going to juke. So you're running, you hard cut, then you skip juke. You hard cut, then you skip juke. You hard cut, then you skip juke. And this covers too much ground for even an AI or even a user to make the tackle or make a play on you when used correctly. So there you go, there you go, there you go. It does use a little bit of stamina, but you're also not holding turbo at all during this move. Do not hold turbo at all during this move. I'll do it one more time and show you guys real, real up close. Um, so I'll, I'll go full screen for this actually. So hard cut is this, hard cut and flicking the way you wanna juke and then just skip juking. I'm not holding turbo while I'm doing this move at all. It's just all the hard cut and the, and the skip juke here. So hard cut, skip, hard cut, skip, hard cut, skip, hard cut, skip, just like that. And this move is just so effective. It is so nasty. I originally was just skip juking. Then I started adding in the hard cut to it and it just, it, it just became 10 times nastier. It's good on kick returns. It's just nasty everywhere. Okay, so I do want to show you guys an example of this move in game. And the reason why this move is so good, and yes, it looks just like a normal skip juke. I understand that it looks exactly the same, maybe a little bit different, but the reason why this move is so good is because it messes up pursuit angles. And this is why it's also super good on kick returns because it messes up pursuit angles. You're gonna see right here, this guy's not gonna click on, or maybe he does, I don't really remember. But you see right here, I pull out the juke move this early and he's coming downhill. Both these guys are coming downhill and you cover so much ground where this is gonna be a touchdown easily. See how he's just standing still because you're hard cutting. So he has to kind of freeze and you're also juking at the same time. And with good speed, you can easily get outside the numbers and you're just, it's just, it's just easy. Like you're gonna see it again right here. I'll show you one more example here with Saquon Barkley with jukebox in game, but you see that's the hard cut and the, and the skip juke simultaneously and you just kill pursuit angles, man. Okay, so here is the same ball carrier move with jukebox Saquon Barkley. I can't recommend it enough, but you have to run. I mean, you don't have to, obviously you don't have to. But I think Jukebox is going to make this move, you know, five times, maybe 10 times more effective because you're getting more animations, covering more ground. And you also can gain control of the move much faster. And you're going to see a good example of that here. So here's Saquon. We're going to bust it outside. And you see, like, realize where my stick is. My stick's pointed to the sideline. So I'm setting up these guys to come back this way. And I know I can cover just insane amounts of ground with Jukebox and the Skip Jukes, the super Skip Juke move here. So I'm setting, them up, I'm setting them up this way and you notice how early I'm doing this move as well. You can still do it right on top of someone. It still works. But if you're just trying to, you know, just kill the pursuit angles and almost take advantage of the AI in this game, it's going to be super nice. So I'm right here. I pull it out right now. See where my head is. My head is phased this way. So their pursuit angles are downhill that way. If I was faced straight on with these guys, it might still work because this move is so good. But for the most effective way to use this move, you want to be setting someone up the other way and then cutting that back. So here we go. I'm going to set it up right there. And you see the pursuit angles. He's looking straight at me. He's not completely turned yet. 
and we can just get outside easy and with jukebox you, you can also regain that control so much faster and get it upfield much quicker for a touchdown and you see saquon is a perfect back for this um this move i'll show you one more time in real time this move is straight up nasty man this move is just straight up disgusting and it looks just like a normal skip juke but you see user hard cut comes up and uh we're doing that simultaneous hard cut skip juke all at once all right guys so that is going to do it for today's video kind of a short one but yeah let me know if you guys have any questions down below i'll be happy to answer them um this move only is on next gen like i said it's called the super skip juke that's what we're calling it these days and uh yeah hard cut right into a skip juke it's that easy it's that simple it's that effective